Today I'm going to talk with you about setting limits with your kids. My name is Lindsay Holston and I'm a child therapist at Kid Matters Counseling in Hinsdale. Setting limits with your kids can be tough. Do you find that you are tired of trying to set limits that don't work? Well, you're not alone. Seeing your child engage in the same behavior over and over again and not having an effective means of clearly communicating your need for them to stop can be extremely frustrating. This method of limit setting will help your child be able to find acceptable outlets for their behaviors as you provide them opportunities to engage in greater responsibility and self-control. So the three-step limit setting method consists of A, acknowledge the feeling or desire, C, communicate the limit, and T, target alternatives. By stating out loud how your child is feeling in the moment, you are showing your child that you understand what they are feeling and that their feelings are in fact valid and accepted. An important difference to note is that I am referring to feelings and not behaviors. I'm not asking you to accept your child's behaviors. When your child hears that you know how they are feeling, your connection to your child will be strengthened and it will lessen the intensity of their feelings. Here's an example. Henry, I see that you are getting angry because you want more time on the iPad. See how I named the feelings and also the situation that was happening? So I'm letting my child know that I'm aware of why he's experiencing those feelings. Next, you wanna communicate the limit. It should be brief and to the point. The limit should be communicated in as few words as possible and also make sure the words you use are age appropriate. Presenting the limit in a short and sweet manner will keep your child's attention and not provide any wiggle room for a counter argument. The example would be, it's now time for dinner. You get 30 minutes of iPad time per day. Finally, you want to target acceptable alternatives. You do this in order to teach your child that they are in control of making a different decision. Make sure that you already have two alternatives in mind that you are okay with. This will provide your child the opportunity to engage in self-direction while practicing self-control. So the example would be, you can choose to turn off the iPad all by yourself, or you can choose for me to turn it off for you, or you can choose to put the iPad away, or you can choose for me to put it away for you. That's it. The simpler, the better. Please note that children will not always like the alternatives you have chosen for them. And in fact, there are probably many times when they still won't want to choose an alternative or won't want to comply at all. In these situations, you may have to repeat the alternatives a couple times. I usually say no more than three, or you can use a countdown system. So an example here would be, I see that this is a really hard decision for you. I'm going to count down from five, and if you have not made a choice, then you are choosing for me to choose for you. Five, four, three, two, one. I see that you have chosen for me to choose for you. And you would take the iPad and put it away. Know that in this moment, your child will likely have a meltdown or get angry. It is extremely important for you to follow through on this limit. And in time, your child will learn to expect that when you set a limit, you stick with it, thereby decreasing the need for negotiation or escalation. If you are trying to set limits with your kids and it doesn't seem to be working, give me a call and we can work on it together.